just showing a selection of uh, different kinds of flashlights. Some of them are very high quality, some are very low quality and inexpensive. This I believe you can get at most uh, hardware stores. It's just uh, quite a bright light. It's got the crenellated edges. Uh, they can certainly be used as a striking tool. Fairly small, compact. Here's uh, another one here. This is by Smith & Wesson. Also quite a decent little light. A uh, good idea to have these if you're getting in and out of your car or in any kind of uh, darkened area. Uh, here's another one. This is a very, very bright light. Uh, so this is very handy. I also like the fact that it doesn't look too tactical, but it does have the crenellated edges around the bottom here. And then this one, last but not least, this one here is the uh, slightly larger flashlight. Also has the crenellated edges that are quite good for striking. The point being that you would strike with these and possibly end up with some DNA evidence if you were a woman or attacked and needed to you know, have the police investigate and check the DNA. Uh, I was in the UK about a year and a half ago, two years ago, yeah, and uh, I carried this flashlight everywhere I went. Never had any, anybody question me or ask anything about it. It was you know, either in the back pocket uh, or inside my jacket because you know, any type of pocket knife in the UK is very, very illegal and very hard to, uh, to carry. There's nothing crenellated about this, no cutting edges on it, but it's large enough, fits my hand well, and I felt this would be a good tool for me. It also has a couple of features, including a very bright strobe that can disorientate somebody if, uh, if it's a dark situation. Anyway, how can you use this? There, there's many ways. If he was my potential attacker, you can certainly use it as a club this way. You can also use it as a striking tool, hit the clavicle, hit the temple, hit the, the throat, uh, come back this way to the other side. You could also use it as a thrusting tool, you know, the groin, uh, you know, groin, and then back into the head, those types of things. But if you don't, if this, this creates a lot of, a lot of pressure. Uh, just kind of grab me. Yeah, even him grabbing me, if I want him to let go, I can get that to happen very quickly. I can concentrate a lot of energy here, and then of course I can strike him with the, with the, uh, the flashlight. Hit the clavicle, like, like I said, hit it hit this way. It's almost like an extension of your hand. Just a really good tool, uh, so thank you. I'll go ahead and cut it.